So these carreras, um, the cheeks, they have the same texture as a really well-cooked brisket. They almost have the same flavor as well. They're soft, they're the fall apart. You can cut them with a fork and they're very meaty, like a good brisket. And they're in a red wine sauce. Mm. <laughs> So we were walking around town. We actually had plans to eat at a place that made the best chuleta in town. Our hotel told us about it. We went there and it was closed. So we started looking around and I found this place. It's called Los Caños. And Los Caños actually has 4.8 stars out of five on TripAdvisor. And so we said, let's try it. We walked in, I asked them, do you have space for two without reservations? They said, yes. So guess what? We got ourselves a table and we're planning on having a very nice lunch here in Otto. Only mushroom? Only mushroom. Okay, uh, bread? Yes, please. And I will have agua, her too. Well, I started out ordering the jamón croquetas, which sounded really good to me, but she said they have a specialty here that are uh, sauteed mushrooms and garlic and parsley. Yes, and I decided to substitute that instead. So I didn't get the croquetas, instead I got the champignones. And so I'm looking forward to those. Uh, I got the carilleras, which are beef cheeks, and they're, they're sauteed, or they're roasted in a red wine. And then for you, I got a steak. Okay. And then uh, also I got the peppers, the roasted peppers. The way I look, you would think I ate more, but I don't eat that much. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what was this building when it was first built? Um, ¿Cómo se dice en español? Cárcel. Cárcel. La cárcel, sí. Oh, no, entiendo. <laughs> yes. Until you say, oh, 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 Yes. Mm. These look very good. Mm. Hey Jesse, I'm thinking of you again. Mm. Okay. Mm. Try it. Looks good. These are fresh roasted mushrooms with olive oil, garlic, parsley. Oh my God, that's the best thing to eat. Look at that. Mm. Mm. This is good. It's an earthy flavor, a little bit like a porcini. It's got a lot of meaty characteristics to it. Excellent. You can taste the garlic, you can taste the parsley. Delicious, delicious sauteed mushrooms. Pablo. So good. These are potatoes. No, this is a complimentary appetite. Tangy. Roasted peppers. Oh, okay. But is not piquillo. Yeah, uh, no, I ordered it. Not oh, you Yes, not piquillo peppers. This is more of a, uh, just similar to a roasted red pepper. Very good. Oh, nice. A little salty, um, but it's roasted with olive oil and, and um, it's got some salt in it. And it's just, it's sweet and it's salty. Interesting dish. It's meant to go with young steak. What do you think? Cheeks. Cheeks? Yes, carilleras.
And this is Young's Mini Chuleta. Ooh, that is good. Mm -hmm. Now, the carilleras, they're always very soft. Yes. Falling apart, they're in a red wine sauce. Mm. Very nice. Think of a, a, a brisket, it's, it's okay, and along with my carreras, think of this as the world's creamiest mashed potatoes. Super creamy, super rich, delicious mashed potatoes. Almost like a mashed potato soup, that's how creamy it is, it's delicious. Young, you're going to have to try that because I think you're going to like it. Yes. Now, Young was in the mood for a chuleta, but something a little smaller, so that's what I got her, something a little smaller. Mm. Mm. Very chewy, cooked like all Spanish steaks. Charred on the outside, really rare on the inside. Delicious, delicious beef. You can't find this in the U.S. The beef like this, for some reason, it just tastes so much better here. I don't know, maybe the cows are more aged. Who knows? But whatever it is, it is absolutely amazing. Okay. Pero está muy bueno. Merece muchísimo la pena probarlo. Okay. Vale, super fresco en boca. Yo de los postres ya le digo de. Porque me dije que quiero el aro. El aro. Or lemon is. It's similar. The helado de limon. Ice lemon. Okay. It's like a lemon ice. Okay. It's okay. One cheesecake. Just one cheesecake with share. What's the lemon ice? Like sherbet almost. Or like. It's like ices. You've had ices before, Italian ices. Mm -hmm. It's very much like a sherbet, and it's lemon flavored. Okay. Would you like it? Sure. Okay. She changed her mind. She wants the lemon I don't ice. Know what it is. Young said this is all mine, so she might not get it back. No, you but might just taste it. Maybe I'll taste it, and then you won't get it back anyway. Yes. Okay. She got uh, something called a lemon ice which is essentially like a sherbet, I guess. Oh, uh, no, it's a, it's a frozen lemon inside. Yes. Very interesting. It's very citrus, it's tangy. Creamy, tangy. Yes. Lemony. Very good. Surprisingly good. Mmm. That's one of the better lemon ices I've ever tried. Right? Very good. Very good. And then, of course, one of the Basque specialties here is the tarta de queso. It's a Basque cheesecake. Mmm. This is very creamy. It holds its shape, but it's almost semi-soft. The taste is wonderful cheesecake taste. Like a cross between a cheesecake and a custard, though. It's much softer than an American-style cheesecake. It's delicious, and it's so creamy. Little lemon ice with my cheesecake. Even better. <laughs>